as a foreclosure defense attorney, this is sweet justice. Only on Wink tonight, the tables are turned. Instead of Bank of America foreclosing on a home, a homeowner has deputies foreclose on the bank. Bank of America filed foreclosure papers on a homeowner who didn't owe a dime. They paid for their house with cash. Renee Stoll live at the Bank of America branch on Davis Boulevard in Naples with this story you'll see only on Wink tonight. This is about a family who fought back and won. Their foreclosure nightmare started when they bought a house in the Golden Gate Estates owned by Bank of America. Like you said, they paid cash, so they never had a mortgage. Well, Bank of America fouled it up somewhere along the lines and actually tried to foreclose on the family. And what happened today, you're just going to have to see to believe. Movers, a truck, and an armed deputy, all while a nervous homeowner stands by and waits. This is normally what you'd see when a person's being foreclosed on and their property seized by a bank. But today, it's the other way around. They've ignored our calls, ignored our letters. Um, legally, this is the next step to, to get my clients compensated. A Collier County judge said Bank of America had to pay Maureen Nairges and her husband's legal fees after the bank tried to foreclose on their Golden Gate Estates property, but they paid cash. The courts agreed they never had a mortgage to begin with. After more than five months, the bank still hadn't paid up. So the homeowner's attorney did just what the bank would do to get their money, seize their assets. I instructed the deputy to go in and take uh, desks, computers, copiers, uh, filing cabinets, uh, including cash in the drawers. Outside the bank, several deputies stood by with movers ready to start hauling out the bank's office supplies and furniture. Inside, the homeowner's attorney was locked out of the bank manager's office by deputies while the bank manager tried to figure out what to do. He was visibly shaken. I, I, you know, having two sheriff's deputies sitting across your desk and uh, a lawyer uh, standing up behind them, you know, demanding whatever assets are in the bank, it can be intimidating. But so is having your home, home foreclosed on when it uh, wasn't right. After about an hour, the bank finally cut a check. As a foreclosure defense attorney, this is sweet justice because th this is a symptom of a larger problem. Now, the homeowner's attorney say, says that he sees mistakes all the time in, in foreclosure court where banks do not do their due diligence, and it winds up becoming a very lengthy process for the homeowners. He says he can only think of one other time where uh, an attorney, the deputies, and a U-Haul came to a bank before ready to seize property. That was in Tampa. As far as Bank of America, they issued a statement saying that they apologize for the wait on the payment. They issued a, uh, a notice to pay from the attorney that was working on the case on their side but they didn't know the attorney went out of business. We'll be reporting live here in Naples. Renee Stolwink News now.